So this question will be split up onto different pages, but here we're just gonna look at the, let's just see what they say. Two points charges, S and T, are placed um, a certain distance apart, as shown in the diagram. Okay, S has a charge, T has a charge, point A is to the right, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so everything that is mentioned here is already on the diagram. So the first question says, define electric field at a point. So remember what electric field is. It's got two formulas that we have on our formula sheet. You've got the KQ over R squared formula, and then you also have the F over small q formula. Now, when we are doing calculations with electric field, most of the times we're gonna be using this one, but from the definition, or with the definition, you would actually use this one to help you remember. So from this one, we can see that electric field is the amount of force per charge. But the way that the definition says, it says it's the force per positive charge. But I'll get the proper definition for you now, um, but this formula can help you to remember it. So it's the force per charge. But let's go get the definition. And so it tells us that the electric field is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive now scientists around the world have just chosen to use positive and then it is positive charge placed at that point. Okay. This question says, draw the electric field pattern between the two point charges. So what you need to remember is that when it's positive, the lines go away. Okay. When it is negative, the lines go towards. So if you have a positive and a negative next to each other, then you're just gonna make it go from the positive to the negative, and then show the arrow going towards the negative. And then you can just do another one like that, and another one. And then for this side, you could also let some of the positives go out like that, for example, and like that and like that, and then for the negative, you could show some random ones going in. All right, so now they say calculate. Now this is for six marks. Now, in my experience, learners get a little bit nervous about this, these questions, but they are literally the easiest questions you could ever do. You just need to have the right direction and just plug it into the right formula, and it is literally an easy six marks. So this one says calculate the net electric field. Okay, so don't use this formula because that is not electric field, that is electric force, electrostatic force. So they said calculate the electric, electric field at point A due to both of these charges. So you are gonna use this formula over here, and all you do is the following. You are gonna start with one of these, either S or T, okay? So let's start with S. Now you're, just gonna, you're not gonna look at S to T, that is not what we're doing. This question is all about A, so you're gonna look at that force or that electric, electric field over there, okay? So let's go use our formula, KQ over R squared. So that's gonna be nine times 10 to the nine. Now, with this charge, that is in um, micro coulomb, okay? So we need to convert that. Now remember, to convert this, 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 and this, you use the following conversions, times 10 to the negative three, times 10 to the negative six, times 10 to the negative nine, and times 10 to the negative 12. So if you wanna convert this one, you're gonna say 45, and then you're gonna say times 10 to the negative six. Then the distance, a lot of learners get this part wrong, it's not 0 0.15, it is the distance all the way to A, so it'll be this plus this, which would be 0 0.15, two five, and then don't forget to square that. Let's get the answer. And that's gonna give us six, four, eight, one, two, three, four. And now the units of electrostatic um, or electric field is N dot C negative one. Now, here's where another area where learners get confused. They don't know the direction. So we have to remember that scientists all over the world have decided that if A is a random little point, you need to pretend that it is positive pretend it's positive. So what would this positive and what would this positive do to each other? They would repel, okay? Now some of you are like, yeah, but what about this one? Isn't that one gonna get involved? It is, 
but we calculate it separately and then we just add all of the effects together at the end. You don't have to combine this one and this one together now. Okay, so what is this, these two gonna do to each other? They're gonna repel. What that means is that this one is gonna cause this one to move to the right. So we are gonna say here, to the right. Now some of you are like, yeah, but doesn't that mean that this one is gonna cause this one to go left? Correct, but this question is not about S. This question is all about A. So we wanna know what is gonna happen to A. Okay, now we are gonna go and we are gonna use this one and this one. We're never gonna use this one and this one. We don't care about those two on each other. Okay, so we're gonna go say, um, 9 times 10 to the 9. Now, don't use negatives in this formula, remember? You don't need to do that. So you're going to say 30 times 10 to the negative 6, and the distance is 0 0.1 squared. Go ahead. Okay, quite a big number. 2, 7, 1, 2, 3. You could use, like, scientific notation and be, like, 2.7 times 10 to the whatever. Um, this one is 6, and then you could say n dot c negative one. Now for the direction, remember to pretend that this is positive. Kevin, why positive? Well, remember in the, in the definition that we said over here, um, I don't know if you can remember, but it said per unit positive. Scientists around the world have just decided to make it positive. Okay, now if this is positive and this is negative, they will attract. So what is this one going to do to this one? Well, it'll cause it to go to the left. So we could say here, to the left. So now we can go work out the net effect, okay? And we can just say to the right is positive, for example, or you can say to the left, it doesn't really matter. Let's say to the right. So then you're gonna say this one minus, because this one's going left. And then if you had to go calculate that, you end up with a negative answer one, two, three, four, n dot c. So now we have to fix this up a little bit. So all that we do now is we chose right as positive, but we got a negative answer. So it means therefore your net electric field is gonna be 2052, one, two, three, four, n dot c to the left. Because we chose right as positive, but then our answer was negative. So you just switch it around in the last step. By the way, if any of you looked at this one on the memo, um, the memo has a mistake. Uh, they switched these two numbers around over here. And you can go check it for yourself. Even if you go type in their calculation, you'll see that you don't, um, you, you'll see that you do get this one that we've said, but you don't, yeah, they've just switched the eight and the four around and then they carried that on in the rest of the calculation. So that's just a small little mistake. Um, they would have told the learners on the, oh no, the memo wouldn't be released, but they would have they would have published a little document called an errata document and that shows all the mistakes, but I just couldn't find that one.